Ladies and gents, we have it. <laughs> this is it. I know we got Awakened Shamira coming. There's a bunch of other stuff in here that I glazed over, but there is one thing in these patch notes that I am super excited about, and that is Rem and Amelia coming to the garrison. I've been hanging out for it. I was thinking it was going to be soon. We've got them. They're coming to the garrison. Makes it super exciting. I know a lot of people who already have them and don't play alts and stuff like that don't really care, but I think this is fantastic for the game for new players. Uh, we'll talk about it a bit more but I'm really excited about that one. But all in all, it looks like it's a pretty decently sized update with a few new features that we've got to go through, a new summoning type system, summon stone system that we'll go through uh, and stuff like that. So let's just go through the patch notes and I'll walk you through it. But I am pretty excited for this one. So we will be doing a challenge account when this drops on global. I'll make another video close to the time uh, and we'll go through that. But added the new Awakened Greyborn Hero, Shamira the Soul Reaver. Happy days. We knew she was coming. Uh, we're going to get the test play. We're going to get the Bountiful Trials, all that stuff. Cool beans. Also, I am absolutely wrecked. I was falling asleep waiting for this. These patch notes came out like 10 p.m. Normally, they're like 6 or 7 p.m. my time. And, you know, I'm not in bed by now. I'm, I'm, I'm an old man. I, I, I go to bed early. But uh, if I sound like shit and uh, I look like I'm struggling, I'm, I'm just tired as fuck. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, added uh, themed Voyage of Wonders. So we've got the uh, Shamira themed Voyage of Wonders. Uh, the Gift of Time event will be out. So we get the 50 free emblems as always. Happy days. Basically free 60 pulls from the Time Gazer. Added the new event, Noctus, uh, the, the Halloween event. Um, I hate trying to say that. Which will be available from local time, yada, yada, yada. Adventurers can comp uh, complete quests by making jack o lanterns according to the request specifications. Okay, this seems similar to... Was it last year's or the year before? But it seems pretty similar to that. Display them in the gallery and generate exclusive stickers. They can also... Uh, battle in the realm of the Nile and complete various events to receive rewards. I think this is going to be pretty much the way uh, we have a bunch of the events laid out, like the bigger events where it's like you go into the event tab and then there's a bunch of little tabs. This one will have like jack lands. It'll have a tab that goes into normally like the um, Voyage of Wonders and then sometimes they have another Voyage of Wonders type thingamabobby. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, it sounds like it's going to be pretty standard. Added a new skin for Vaithail, the Shining Sword called Fearless Sword, which can be purchased uh, for a discounted price at the wardrobe. Yada, yada, yada. Cool beans. Uh, will be The skin will be removed from the wardrobe after the event. So that... Okay, that's the purchased one. And we've got an Astralda one, which can be obtained by completing the quests. Okay, damn it. Chad's not the free one. That sucks. <laughs> I was hoping Chad would be the free one. Uh, it is what it is. I hadn't read through that yet. Uh, the new Temporal Rift season will begin on local time, yada, yada, yada. Once again, we are on the test service. All the times you see here are for my local time and based on the test service. So it's going to be a bit different for you guys on the global server. Uh, da, 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 optimize the auto battle function auto battle will no longer be available during the beckoning place feature uh, where adventures will now freeze okay that's cool reduce the battle difficulty of the early stages and remove the chaos uh, theory floors okay cool beans cool beans Basically, it looks like it should be a bit more quality of life and a bit easier to get those early stages done. Uh, and I think that will affect like early players as well, making it easier in the early game. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me. Once again, I'm wrecked. Brain computing power is is struggling massive. But here's the big one. Number seven, added Rem, the demon maid, and Amelia, the spiritual arts user, to garrisoned mercenary. This is the big one. This is the big one. I, I'm just, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to this. If you haven't run an account, I definitely recommend just jumping on an old server and just having a little play because it is such a fun early game experience. Uh, you just, you'll get the resources within a day or two, I'd say, uh, if you grind and unlock the challenger store. Maybe, far, maybe like three days. I don't know. But you'll get them pretty quick. Uh, you, you unlock the ability to use the garrison uh, and then you get all the resources and then you get them really, really quick and then uh, away you go. So I can't remember how long exactly it'll take, but we'll find out. We'll find out. But that's going to be fun. Love Rem and Amelia coming to the garrison. Uh, Rem just makes the game just crazy fun. Anyway, moving on. So this is the new type of summoning system that I mentioned at the start. Added a new type of item called Honorable Elite Hero Soulstone. Players acquire 60 honorable elite hero soul stones to summon a random elite hero 
or awakened hero from the list of this month's honorable heroes. Now I've seen this in other games as well. We'll go over it in a sec. Honorable heroes will include all awakened heroes, celestial and hypergene heroes, and some elite heroes who initial tier is elite. So no more getting the fodder heroes. The list of some elite heroes whose initial tier is elite in each month's honorable heroes will be refreshed on the first of each month, yada, yada, yada. The range of heroes that can be summoned with honorable elite hero soul stones is based on the current list of this month's honorable heroes. For, no for November 2023, honorable heroes will not be refreshed and will remain the same as October. So essentially, I've seen this in other games with different types of systems, but it's essentially they, they're going to have a short list of units that you can get with these stones. And basically, normally you're going to get one of those units, but you've got the small chance to get a Cell Hypo and a small chance to get an Awakened. What I really hope with these Soul Stones is that the chance to get a, a Cell Hypo and the chance to get an Awakened Hero is higher than it is on other Soul Stones. Um, because otherwise, yeah, it's cool to have better targeting of whatever elite hero you want but let's face it it's not hard to get the copies of a four faction hero that you want it's really not that hard anymore the game gives you that many summons you got the wish list it's pretty easy we got all the select summons in the world even on a new account it's easy to get the hero heroes that you want like sometimes you get shafted yes which is to help a little bit but in general i think what i'm really hoping for from these to be a really good feature would be that instead of having a what is it, like a 0.5 percent chance an awaken hero give us a two percent chance in awaken uh, a 15 percent chance at a cell hypo and then the rest go into the remaining five, 10, however many heroes that they specify on this, uh, you know, basically short list of units that you can get. I really do hope that it does increase those rates to make it good. Otherwise, it's kind of just like a dud feature that doesn't really matter. Um, well, I guess normal soul stones don't give you even a chance at the um, awakened heroes, but I hope, I hope it's higher than the other soul stones that have a chance at awaken i can't remember what they're called dude there's too many names for these these soul stones but you got you, you guys get what i'm saying uh regional reward optimization uh when the triggering condition is reached after local time yada yada eventuals will unlock a new version of regal rewards uh and it's going to include the honorable elites okay that's cool uh, it lasts for 35 days. The original Twisted Bounty is regular. Okay, that's cool. So it's, it's what they do standard. You'll have an old and a new, and then you can start the new while the old one finishes. When the old one finishes, it won't renew. I'm assuming that's what that is because Siebs are reading too much further. Added a new chapter to the campaign. Chapter 61, dude, chapters are getting crazy. Uh, a new Misty Valley round is about to commence. Uh, and that is all she wrote in the update. So like I said, Hopefully these soul stones are good. Revan Amelia coming really good. We got Awaken Shamira. Um, I'm 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 pretty I'm pretty excited for this update to come tomorrow on the test server to check out Shamira and then like a week away on the global server so that we can do some some fun rem rem accounts and ha have a bit of a play. But uh, that's where we're at. I'm going to bed as always, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.